When I, I remember when I used to drive from here to Washington, D.C., and for a couple of miles you don't see any car and you just see the empty road and, and that panic started getting into my mind that uh, what happened is something happened and nobody's around. So that always was my irrational fear, wake up one day and the earth is desert. I was always terrified in rehearsals and because I let fear like uh, run my life. You know, we're afraid he's never gonna get a job in a professional ballet conference, so I remember I feared I was never gonna make it to a professional ballet dancer. I think some of the things that are scariest for me is looking bad, is messing up, and is disappointing someone, or messing something up on stage, or getting the answer wrong, or you know, something like that. Fear is sort of something that you can't control, and that's not the best feeling when you're on stage, or The only thing that we know to do is to dance. I'm afraid of like uncertainty, of not being sure. Eight years in national school and when, when I was 16 I started dancing professionally so it's a life is time. You know it takes it's so all-consuming like to get that to just be able to sort of step outside of fear for a moment and recognize that it's fear it's happening to you. The fear of like being judged there's so many people watching. Fear, fear is losing the people I love. It is a conscious effort not to fear things. I mean, down to will the day go well, will this interaction with a person, will this exchange go well, will this rehearsal go well, driving. It wasn't until I decided that I would stop dancing that I figured out a way to deal with my fear of life, my fear of existing, my fear of death. And I started to become able to be in moments, like in the actual moment without experiencing as much fear. There's always a little pressure which I like, you know, like during the performance. And I even had dreams about, you know, like performing and then the, the curtain went up and I couldn't do it and just run off on stage. Ballet was the only thing, the only thing in my life. So I couldn't imagine not doing it. Now my fear is losing the identity. It's a career that is no, it doesn't last too long. We all know that. So I feel like I'm prepared to what's coming. That's why I actually didn't have a problem like uh, making the decision of quitting because I know I'm gonna be okay. When I'm not with you, I'm it will not make or break my career. All I want to do is take my final vow on May 15th, you know, by choice. I think that fear is um, very natural and very human and very necessary. Honestly, I think you are the creator of that fear. And once you realize that, then you don't have to be afraid anymore. I believe fear to be very prevalent in all of our lives. It's something that's passed on from generation to generation. It does not have to be real. There is nothing to fear. I mean, what's happening is right now. You choose to fear it or you choose to accept it. And if you choose to accept it, life is lighter. You're lighter because if someone's dying, it's meant to be because that's what's happening.